and I want to start the sharing now so I don't forget. Okay, I'm sharing and recording. All right. Okay, do I have... My sounding? Yeah. Okay, oh, you can hear me, Rain? Yeah. Okay, can. good. Good. Okay. All right. All right, okay. So now, um, here. Okay, uh, okay, this is ITS uh, 148, and uh, we, today is uh, November 7th. And we are uh, somewhere around here. So today I'd like to do uh, exercise 12-1. It's on um, classes, making classes. So uh, for exercise 12-1, if we go to assignments and click on, oh, I didn't put it up here, did I? All right, it's, it's exercise, it's assignment, it'll be assignment 18. Go to resources and uh, it's, it is 12-1, it's this one. Inven create and use an inventory uh, uh, item class. So I'm gonna take this and put it over on the side here. Oh, wait, first I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna go to resources and I'm gonna go to, well, uh, okay, you should have downloaded this exercises.zip, which I have right here, and it's exercise 12, which is this one here. So I'm going to uh, take this and put it out here on the desktop, and I'm going to open it up. And here I am, I'm going to open it up and open this up. this one I guess okay All right, uh, it's gonna ask me to sign in here pretty soon, I think. In the meantime, let's run and see what happens. And it says this. So let's, um, I guess I can sign in. Is it on? Okay. All right, so it's got this uh, type or namespace, I-N-V-I-T-E-M, uh, could not be found. All right, so that's because this, uh, we were given a partial uh, thing here. Let me just put this over here, put it over here. And uh, I don't need to see me. Put this here, and uh, we are looking at this. All right, so um, in this exercise, you'll find a class. Oh, you will add. Let me, let me make this a little bigger here. A moment. Okay, in this exercise, you'll add a class to an inventory maintenance application, and then add code to the two forms that use the class. Okay, so this is this, is this inventory maintenance form here, which dis displays a bunch of inventory items. 
and you can add an item and you can delete an item. And when you add an item, this new inventory item thing pops up and uh, you add and you add the item number, you add the description, you add a price, and then you click save and it adds it into the uh, little database it has here, a little XML database, and you'll see that as a, the fifth item here. Uh, and if you wanna delete something, you click to select something and you click delete item and this thing pops up and you say yes or no, whether or not you wanna delete it. So uh, to do this project, we start by opening up this, this project that it gives us. And uh, that I've done that here, that's this thing. And we see that we have the uh, form, the, this is the inventory maintenance form. Uh, we've got some controls on here. We've got this LST items, which is a list box. We've got a couple of buttons here, BTN add, BTN delete, BTN exit. And then we also have this uh, new form, this other form here, this new inventory item form. It's got some uh, text boxes here and it's got some buttons and so on. And we also have uh, a database. It's, we have this XML database here, which we aren't gonna get into now, but we'll get into before the end of the semester. We'll, we'll learn how to you know, create and add these things. But, but for right now, uh, it's just a database that's there. Looks, looks similar to HTML, doesn't it? It's XML. And then we also have this, uh, this special class here that is used to interface to this database. Uh, and we will learn more about this, but this class interfaces to this database is inventoryitems.xml database. And it also, uh, it also provides two methods. One method will grab out all of the inventory items and return a list. It'll return a list. This, this method is called get items. So you can call this method uh, in this class here and it will return a lit, the list of all the items in the, uh, in the database. It reads them up here. And then there's another method which is provided here, which is called save items. And it takes in a list as a parameter and takes that list and inserts that list into the database to make sure that the database is now. So really what this thing does is it, it reads out the whole database with get items and it actually rewrites, rewrites the whole database um, with this uh, save items, yes. It rewrites the database with this uh, method right here. And these are static methods, which means it's a static class, which means to use these methods, you do not have to create an instance of this class. You don't, you don't have to create an object of, uh, that's of this class type to be able to use these methods. Everything is static, so all you need to do is, is just call this class by its name and say inv item db dot get items to get out the items and inv item db dot save items uh, with the list as an argument and it'll uh, actually save the items. All right, so, so that's what we're given here. Oh, we're also given a nice validator class here, which we're gonna to use to validate uh, stuff that is typed into that, that is typed into this form here. If we look at the code for this form, we see that it, uh, oh, we're gonna to have to add all that in here. Looks like. Oh, but here, this is, this interfaces to this is valid data. All right. So um, let's go back to this description. So we're supposed to add a class named INV item to this project uh, and add these properties, method and constructors. So we're gonna have an item. So th this class is gonna have uh, three properties, item number, description and price. And it's gonna also have this method 
which is used to display out um, uh, display out an item. This this item is going to be one item of the list of these lists here. Uh, I'm talking about these lists. See, this is a, a this is a not, this is a class type, and it's got a squiggly red line underneath it because it hasn't been defined yet. Uh, so let's keep on. Uh, so we're going to define it this way, and we're also going to uh, include these two constructors. So we can, can we can we can create a new item by just uh, with the default, and then we can assign values to the properties, or we can just create it this way using passing in as arguments the item number, description, and price, and it will uh, take that and, and create create the item. Uh, so to uh, so once we uh, create this class, then we're going to add some code. Uh, uh, in the new item form, uh, we're going to um, declare a class variable named IMB item of type of, of the class that we just created. Then we're going to add a method to uh, get a new item, and that is going to display uh, this form uh, as a dialog box, and when after the user fills out the form, clicks, clicks the save button or whatever, uh, it'll return it. It'll return this object. It'll return an object of this type that we of the class we're going to create, and uh, and then this actually saves it. And then we're going to um, add the code to implement the new inventory or the maintenance. The inventory maintenance form, which is the main form, so we're going to declare a class uh, of uh, items, which is a list of these invoice items. We're going to uh, create a. Uh, we're going to add a load handler uh, to to grab out all the items and fill up, grab out all the items using that static method get items inside this class to uh, load up the the list box there. Uh, that's what this is going to do, and uh, we'll be able to add a button, uh, add click, which will add a new instance of an item, which you know opens up that form, asks the user for the information on the new item, and then uh, inserts it into the list, and this, and then also implement the delete click, delete click handler, click event handler. All right, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so let me put this over on the side here, and. Uh, so to start out uh, adding the new class, I'm going to use this uh, um, live code feature thing. And so here, and it's, it's appropriate with this particular assignment because we already have instances of where we're trying to use this, uh, this class. And we don't, and the class hasn't been defined yet. So what we can do is click on this Click on this class name that's got the red squiggly, right click, and then click on quick actions and refactorings. Click on that. And here it's got some selections. We can do several things. We can generate class, we can generate a new class as a new file. We can generate a class within this class called IMV item. We can generate a nested class. We can generate a type. We can generate that. We can change, change whatever. We can we can. Uh, anyway, what we want is just this first one. We're going to generate a whole new file called inbitem.cs. That's going to have this stuff in it. Okay, so I'm going to go click and boom. Look at what appeared over here. Over here. Hold on a second. I'm going to close the door. All right, so we have this uh, 
file over here. I don't really like this way to do it because it doesn't put, it, put it, any of the stuff up on top here or anything. Another way to do it would just be to click over here, do a right click and do add. And we can do add a new item or we can do add a class directly. I'm gonna click add a class directly and this comes up just like add a new item. It's got this class.c1 and uh, you know you can name it that way, but then it has all this stuff up here. So whatever, I'm just gonna grab, oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, and, and I can grab it from someplace else. I just wanted to show you that. Uh, but anyway, we're working on, um, we're working on this one here. And so I'm gonna just paste those buggers up there and I'm gonna make this, um, Yeah, public class INV item, that's right. Uh, I don't need this thing, I'm gonna delete this. Delete. Yeah, I don't need, I, I was just showing you. All right, so here's, here's uh, this starting of this class. And uh, so um, I'm supposed to add these properties. So I'm gonna add them in here. I'm going to add a uh, private int item number. Oops. Int item no. Now, uh, this is the internal storage location for this property. So I'm going to use lower, I'm going to use the other convention. I'm gonna use lowercase for the actual storage location. And then when it comes to time to, uh, to name the, to uh, have, to create the um, accessors, then I'll use capital. So next I'm gonna have a private string description, use lowercase. And I'm also gonna have a private uh, decimal price. Okay. All right, and then underneath there, I gotta make these constructors. The constructors usually come next. So I'm gonna have a public INV item. Uh, that's the uh, parameter list. And I'm just gonna do this curly and then that's it. I, I'm not even gonna. That's fine, it looks, like, it looks like that, it looks a little different. Uh, and then I gotta create this constructor that's got this stuff. And so I'm gonna say public INV item, paste, except for I need to say that this is a int int space, and I need to say that this is a string, and I need to say this is a decimal. And then I need to do a curly enter, and then I need to do something with these uh, incoming variables, these incoming parameters. And what I wanna do is I wanna take these incoming parameters and I wanna store them into these internal private variables, these internal private locations for um, that's that are where this this class, the instance when this when a when an object is created with this class, and other and actually all of the items in the uh, in the database, you know, all all the inventory items are each individual each inventory item is going to is gonna occupy one object. It's gonna be one object of this class. Uh, so I gotta store, I gotta say this, this, uh, and you can use the keyword this, meaning this class, this object, uh, uh, item number, which is, is referring to this one up here, uh, equals the item number that just came in, and it, it, it knows how to keep track of these things. We're having all these things have the same name. This uh, description equals the description that's coming in right here. 
and this price equals, that's this price here, equals this price. So I just do this price equals price, and it keeps track of what's going on there. Okay, so, so that takes care of this constructor. So when you create a new ins when you create a new instance of this class, when you instantiate an object of this class, uh, you can pass in as arguments. When you're calling it, you call them arguments. When you are defining the function and receiving, you, you call them parameters. So these are so um, you can create a new a new inventory item an object that's an inventory item by passing in these values and it, it will uh, automatically populate the object with those values. All right, so now I've got to throw in the accessors, the accessors, and that's A-C-C-E-S-S-O-R-S. -S -S. And so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be able to get at uh, uh, I, the item number and now is when I use capital because now, now I actually do it use these versions so I can say public int item number uh, and I'm going to go this colon thing like that and I can say excuse me get and I'm going to do it a more compact way return item number this is the lowercase one Uh, and then I can say set, and for set I say item number equals this uh, special keyword value, which is uh, which would be um, uh, to the left of an equal sign when you're trying to assign the value. When you're trying to assign a value to this class name, uh, this that, that value on the right side of the equal sign comes in right here, and then this set uh, command or this set statement here will actually take that value and store it into this uh, variable location, which is this one right here. So that takes care of a uh, class, the I, I mean the property, item number property. Then we gotta do the, uh, the description property. I'm going to do a left curly and an enter, and then I'm going to do a get curly uh, return description colon close uh, set open uh, description equals value. Okay, and then I got to do one more for the price public uh, decimal price, capital, left curly, enter, get, return, description, no, price, <laughs> return price. That's going to give it back to them because they want it. And this is going to set it. And it'll be uh, price equals value, this, mysteri this mysterious keyword value. All right. Uh, Okay, so, so those are the properties. Uh, it looks like there's a method here we gotta deal with, and that would be this method here. And so I'm gonna uh, do that one uh, public, and it's gonna return a string. And the name of it is get display text. Uh, no parameters, so I'm not gonna fiddle with that, uh, not gonna bother with that, um, separator character this time. And I'm gonna do this lambda thing, and I'm gonna go, it is gonna be item number uh, plus uh, some spaces, plus a dis the description, plus, and I'm gonna put a, quote, and I'm going to put left parentheses, and then I'm going to add to it um, price, the price, dot two string, uh, currency. 
Uh, and uh, I got also um, currency. And then I want to add a closing parentheses. That looks pretty good. All right. That's fine. All right, so that um, that might be all we need for this class. I might have I might now have fully defined this class. I don't see anything else I need. All right, so um, once we're done with that, now that the class has been defined, we should be able to go back to where we started, which was right. Here. Here and now we see it's not squiggly anymore. Why is this X here? Replace get items with property. Where is that? Oh, that's just left over. Anyway, I don't see any squigglies. Hmm, no more squiggly. No more squiggly. All right. Uh, all right. So what does it say next here? Add code to implement the new item form. Display the code for the new item form and declare a class variable named INB item of type INB item with an initial value of null. All right, so um, I'm going to find my notes. Note this. Okay, so let's go to new item form. And let's look at the code and it's this. All right. So the first thing it's asking us to do is add a statement here that declares the inventory item. All right, so I'm gonna go uh, private. Uh, I'm gonna create a private field. It, the field is gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna be called INVITEM. But to declare uh, a, fee, a private field with a name, I need to say what the type is before it. And that would be a class name or a, or a, 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 a um, what's it called? Primitive property or whatever, uh, N-B-I-T-E-M space. So it's, I'm gonna create a new object of this class, I'm gonna call it that, and I'm gonna set it equal to null. So it's all empty and everything. Uh, let's see, next I need to um, add a method here that gets and returns the new item. Oh, okay, so. Uh, so to do that, I need to, uh, I'm going to have a, uh, it's a method. So it's a pub and it's a public method. It can be accessible from the outside public. Uh, and it's going to be, uh, it's going to get a new, get new item. Let's see, make sure I'm doing this right. Get display. Oh, oh, that's going to be called. Okay, this is a method that's going to be called from. This is a method that's going to be called from when you click on this button right here. You click on this button. Let me go back to that button. When you click on add click, I'm going to double click right here. And I'm going to add this code. In. Okay, this code. This code here that creates an instance of the new item form and then gets a new item from that form. Okay, so I'm going to fill this in first, even though I'll probably get some squigglies. I'm going to say um, it's the click event handler form. Okay, so I got to create a new object of of this type of this type. This, I got to create a new item. 
of this type, FRM new item. And I am over here in Here I am. So I need to go um, FRM new item, this thing. So this is the type. It's a it's a it's a class. This is a class name, uh, and it says that this is a type. And I'm going to call it. I'm going to be. I'm going to name it a new item form. I can name it anything. This is just the name of a variable. The variable is a is an object, and it's an object of the type form new item, and that's going to be a new uh, frm new item left right. So that's going to create a new instance of this class type, and it's going to be called that. And so this is a constructor frm new item, and if we look at this. No, the code for it, which is this code, we see that we're just basically using. Well, we're going to use this. I got to fill. I got to fill. Finish typing that in, but it's going to be right here. So that well, that's the. Oh, this is just the. Well, anyway, let's let's go back to it. Let me finish filling this out. Okay, so that's, that's going to create a new item, um, and then uh, and then I have to create uh, a new instance of the inventory form class that we just created. So I'm going to say uh, it, it's an I N V I T E M. It's this is the class type, and I'm going to call it I N V item. That's what I've been calling it all the all the other times, and that's going to equal an uh, the return value from this thing. So I got to put new uh, item form dot, and it's going to have this get new item. So this this is a method that's called, which is defined in this in this class. This is a new object of this class type. And once this new object is created, then you should be able to use this method, which is defined in this class. Trouble is, is this method hasn't been defined yet. Okay, uh, so I will. Uh, so I'm going to go back and define this method. And uh, can I do this thing? I could do it that way, but I'm not going. I'm just going to go back to the code in here, form this here, code right here, and I'm gonna finish defining that get, that um, get new item. So uh, this is get new, uh, basically I'm talking about this method right here. I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna paste it, Get new item, and uh, oh, it's got to be an inventory. Item. Uh, it is a. Uh, this is the class type. This is the method, and it returns one of these. It returns one of these, and so inside here, I got to put. Um, Um, inside here, I got to put uh, this, and this this displays it up. Show dialog, and uh, so it shows the dialog. User types in a bunch of stuff, and it's going to return a uh, an object of the inverse uh, INVI team. So I'm going to return it. All right. Uh, okay. Um, so 
that takes care of that, takes care of this, takes care of that, and then I've um, button save, is that's all in there. I gotta add uh, the code here to save it. This is the save button. So I gotta put some code in here. So this add code here that creates the new item and saves the form. So it, if, if is valid data, I'm gonna do uh, INB ITEM equals new INB ITEM parentheses. And uh, here is where I'm creating a new item. And so I'm gonna pass in uh, the, the um, I have to pass in the three parameters, the item number, the, uh, the description and the price, if you recall. So the first I'm gonna pass in the item number and so it's going to be a um, convert to int in 32 txt item number dot txt. So uh, this is the first argument. Uh, see, I have to see. I've done the first one. I got to do string and decimal. So the next one is going to be a txt description dot txt. I don't need to do anything with that. It's already a string. Then the third thing is the price. It's going to come in as, as as a text, but I have to convert it to a decimal. Convert to decimal. Uh, txt price. Txt. Right, is that enough? Can I? Uh... Okay. So, um, so, so if the if the data is valid, it's going to it's calling this down here. It's calling this method down here, this internal private method. It's gonna check all, it's gonna check this, this text box for a val for if something's in there, and then it's gonna test test that check that text box to make sure that what's in there is actually an integer. And then it's gonna test to make sure that the description is actually there. And then it's gonna to test to make sure the price is actually there. And then it's gonna to test to see if the price is actually a decimal number. And if it is, if all these are true, then you end up a bunch of trues and you get true. So it'll return true. So is validate will return true. So this will be true. So if it's true, it's gonna, uh, it's going to create an, it's gonna uh, create a new instance it's gonna create a new object. It's gonna create a new inventory item object with these arguments, so with these parameters, and it's gonna, and that's gonna be stored right here. And that that is uh, this thing. It's not null anymore, it's it's whatever this is. All right, um, okay, it seems like there's something missing here, but maybe not. Okay, so uh, it looks like, so I think we filled in everything we need to do. Display the code for the new item class. Add a public method name and get new item that displays the form as a dialog box and returns an INVITM object. That's what this does. And then um, add code for the button save click event handler that creates a new inventory item object and closes the form if the data is valid.
Okay, so what will happen is this thing will make the form appear and the person types in the stuff and then the person clicks the save button and then this thing is called. When the person clicks the save button, this thing is called, checks the data, and if the data is right, then it creates a new, it goes out and grabs, gets a new object of, of INV item class type and stores it into this INV item. And once that's stored, then, then, then the, the, um, the form is done and the form closes and this has a value then. This didn't have a value until, you know, this value was just this value until this save button was clicked and the kink comes through here. And now this thing has got a value, which is this new item, just this new inventory item with these, these values here. And so now this has a value that's actually means something, it's not null. And uh, once this button is clicked, the form closes and this thing returns and then, then this thing executes. And at, by then this thing has got a real value and that, that, that gets returned to whatever called this. Uh, what called this? Well, it was this out here that called it right here. And now that value is stored right in there. So let's finish, let's finish this code. So, um, okay. So did you see that? So, so somebody, somebody out here clicks on add item. What happens is once that click add item is clicked, then this is called. And when this is called, uh, it, a new form that looks like this is created by this and uh, it's um, and then once that's created then this thing means something because this is a method uh, of this that's a part of this this object that was just created and so this method is called, this method is actually this method. And what this method does is it pops itself up as a, showing it as a dialog and the user types in some stuff and user types, user types in some stuff, blah, 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 clicks a save button. Once the save button is clicked, then this thing is executed. No, not this thing. This thing is, uh, this thing is executed. And what this does is it looks and looks in those it looks in those dialog it looks at all those controls the text item number the description the price make sure it, the data is all valid if the data is valid it's got those it's got a real uh, item number that's valid in here because it passed this test it's got a description in there because it passed this test it's got a price in there. And not only that, it's a decimal number because it passed that, that. So these are all valid. So then it, it sends that over to this, to this to create a new instance, which by the way is defined right here. Right here, it's, we're calling this. This is the constructor. It comes in here, 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 stores it in there and uh, you know returns this object, which is, uh, Returns, returns the object, stores it there. So this now has a value. So then, then it, when this is done, this is done and it returns it back out over to here. And so, so we got something there. And now let's test to make sure that it's not null. If INV item is not null, then do this. Uh, INV items, which is this list, add to this list this little object node here that we just created because the guy typed something in. That, if 
by the way, this INV items, have I not declared that yet? I haven't declared it yet. That's why it's that's why it says squiggly there. I have not declared this yet. I wonder if I can do this and see what happens. Uh, it doesn't look like this quite has what I need, so I'm just going to do it the way I should be doing it up here. Throw something up here. Private. Uh, it's a list of IMV items. Of I, it's a list of this type, IMV item. It's of that class type. It's a list of those. It's a list of those dudes. And I'm going to call this list IMV items. And I'm going to start out at being null. Okay, so I've got this list. It's called INV items, lowercase i. And this is a list of these types of objects. INV item, this is a class. It's defined right here. It's these kinds of these objects here with this have three, three fields per object kind of thing. OK, so now that's defined. Now this INV items is defined. And this is no longer squiggly. So this is the this is a built-in method that adds this item to this list of items, and then I'm going to save. Uh, so I've added a new list. The list has changed, and so I got to save it out. So I got to I'm going to I'm going to use that static class of INV item DB. That static class, and there's that method in there which I showed you earlier, which is called save items, and I got to throw in the list, got to give it the list, which is INV items, uh, that list. And uh, and then when I'm all done, I have to, uh, so I, I have to fill the, the item list box. I got to refill, I got to refill this thing here, this LST items. And that apparently is done with a method. Is there a method here that to do that? Hmm, I think I got to create that method. Uh, so anyway, once that item, once that method is created, I'll just should be able to call it. Oh, it's there already. Oh, here it is. It's there. Oh, I gotta add the code for it. <laughs> All right. Um, gotta have some kind of for each thing. Okay. First, I clear it out, and then I gotta have a for each. I'm gonna. Uh, loop through all the items in the list. We're talking about this list. So I got to have a, I'm going to do a for each, for each item in the list, for each, um, uh, I'm going to have, I'm going to use I as my in, index, or I'm going to use I as, I'm going to use a for each. So I is, is an item that I've just plunked off the list. What it's, it's an I N B I T E M type item. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop off an item. I'm gonna call it I from I N B items, and uh, I'm gonna pop that off, and I'm gonna add it to the L S T items dot items dot add. I get. Uh, I'm going to add, I'm going to use this get display text method here. So um, what this does is, uh, this is this list box, which is basically this list box here, which is this thing, which is properties here. And it's this LST items, and there it's a collection. It's got items. It, 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 a property in here is this items. And that items is a collection. And if it's a collection, with, with the collection comes this add method that automatic. And so this is LST items dot items is a collection, which is what we see here. No. Here. 
this LST items, this is it properties right here. Uh, is items is a collection. And uh, so LST items dot items is a collection. Uh, and so and, and with a collection, there's an add method. So we're adding whatever this is. What is this? Well, this, this is an item of this type. And if it's an item of this type, then that means that all of these, um, all of these uh, uh, members come along with it. A member can be a property or a method. And lo and behold, here's, here's that display, get display text method that comes along with it. And that's gonna be a string that looks, it's got these things like that. So, so uh, and that's just gonna populate, gonna populate uh, this list. All right, um, I think I might have everything. I think, I, oh, no way, I gotta, what is this, delete? Oh, I haven't, I, haven't, I gotta do the do, delete. Okay, that's in there, that's in there. Okay, so everything should work except for the delete. So let's see what happens. Oh. Mm. It's not set to an instance of an object. Mm -hmm. INV items was null. Oh, I don't recall ever loading up the list. Did, did I do something with the load event handler? I don't see anything, I don't, when this, form pops up, it should invoke the load event handler. Let's fix that. Wait a minute. Oh, shoot, I forgot to, I, I need one more thing here. Oh, I gotta stop this thing first. I gotta throw one more thing in here. I gotta, um, I have to get the, I, I don't recall ever using this method. This is the method that gets all of the stuff out of the database and returns a list of them. Okay, this is the INB ITEMDB, INB ITEMDB class. And I, and so I gotta use that and, and where do I use that? I use that right here. So uh, it would be like uh, something like I N B I T E M S. That's that's this thing here. That equals I N B E I N B I T E M D B. That class dot get items. Let's see if this works. Ah, look at that! It's working. So I'm gonna add, oh, that looks nice. Okay, so I'm gonna add an item. I'm gonna say um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six is, um, these are, what are these, flowers or something? Roses. For, I don't know, um, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. Save. Save. <sighs> Something's not working. No, it's not working. Oh, it is working. Look, there it is. When am I that didn't? Cl oh, I maybe, maybe, just maybe, I need to put a close or something. Could be missing some sort of close save button. How do I? I don't. Know. Hold on. Save. Then I need a save button someplace. Oh. <laughs> uh, I was wondering about that. All right, so uh, so after the save button, it doesn't automatically close by itself. You gotta tell it to close. So now it should, now it supports. Mm. Okay, we got Rosis. Add an item, uh, I'm gonna call it 
9876543321 and I'm going to call it um, tulips for 25 bucks. Ooh, nice. All right, delete item does not work yet. Uh, what time is it? It's 4.16. Do I have time to throw in delete item? Cancel. Yeah. I do. Button delete. All right. So button delete is... All right, so um, add code here that displays a dialog box to confirm the deletion and then removes the item from the list, saves a list of products, and refreshes the list box if the deletion is confirmed. Uh, that's pretty heavy here. All right, so uh, I've, I've, I've grabbed out, this is the index of the, of the item that I wanna grab out, okay? So I can go to prove that I'm going to do a message box show of show, and I'm going to say deleting uh, item number uh, plus I comma flirt. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. Uh, let me just see. So, so what's roses? Roses delete item. It says deleting item number four. Zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. And what happens if I go? Let me exit. What happens if I go start? And I'm not selecting anything. And I click delete item. It says. Oh, it doesn't say anything because it's because uh, of that. I'm going to do this instead. Put this up here. I'm wasting time, I realize. So now if I just go add a delete item, boom, it says deleting item number minus one. And so that's why if it's, if, if it's minus one, it means you haven't selected anything, which means it just skips, skips out, doesn't do anything. All right, so that's fine. I don't need that anymore. Uh, and so, so what I'm going to do now is um, I have to uh, figure out what item that is. I got to grab out that object, and it's uh, and it's it, it's an INV ITEM type object, and I'm going to call it INV item. I'm just going to call it that, and it is uh, the um, INV items. It's the INV items. Uh, this one, it's the ith one, uh, except for I got to uh, say what, what this is. I have to say, I have to uh, do casting. I got to say what, what type, uh, I got to say what type this is before I can actually save it into there. And what type is it? Well, it's a, it's an INV, ITEM type. So that casts it to that type, which means it stores it in there nice and conveniently. And then I can say, um, uh, let's see, I can do um, dialogue result. And I'm gonna name the result button just because it's, that's what they're gonna press. They're gonna press a button. And I gotta say um, equals message box show. And what do I what's, what, what do I want my message to be? I'm just going to type it in here. Are you positive? You want to delete? Uh, what is it that I want to delete? I want to delete um, uh, the. I, I got to do the descri the description of it. Okay. I actually, I should do. I N V I T E M dot get display text. I'm going to do that instead. Uh, plus, plus, plus a question mark. Oh, 
I need to do alert. Okay, does that work? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to display that out. Uh, and um, wait a minute, I need one more thing. I need to say, I need to tell it that I want yes, no buttons at the bottom. So to do that, I say um, message box, uh, yes, no. That's how you. That's how you make it. Put yes, no bu buttons at the bottom. Uh, sorry, message box buttons. That's how you make it have yes, no buttons. At, yes, no buttons at the bottom of your message. And uh, and then then you can refer to what comes back uh, if button dot. So if button equals dialog result dot yes, in other words, if the guy confirms it, then we want to remove the item, I-N-V-I-T-E-M-S dot remove. And so you remove an item and you just say what the, remove that item. Okay, I guess, and then uh, we got to then now now this list has one less item in it. We got to save the whole list back out again, and we we can do we can use that save items method in the i n v i t e m d b class save items, and what are we going to save? We're going to save these items, and then we got to refill the message the list box again. Fill item list box. So to, um, let's see if this works. All right, I'm gonna delete these roses. Are you positive you want to delete one, two, three, four, five, six roses, $20? See, I used the display text there to get display text or whatever. And now they're gone. Let's delete tulips. So, all right. Very good. I think I'm done. Let's see, what else does this say? Display the code. Uh, display. And declare class that, add a statement, or oh, add the load event handler or oh, to get the items. I did that. Uh, add code to fill the list box. So it adds the items to the list in the items list box. Use display get, get display text method. I do that. Add code to add, uh, add a button or add the click, add click event handler, which creates a new instance of the of the new item form, displays it up, asks the user for the data for the new item, returns the new item, um, and throws it in the list and saves it back out and refreshes the item list box. And then we added the code to delete. We confirmed the delete. All right. Are there any questions? None. Okay. So uh, I am recording. I see this little red dot recording thing, thank goodness. And uh, Rain, you saw my screen the whole time, right? Yes. Okay. And it didn't lag out this time. It didn't what? It, it didn't like pause or anything oh, during oh, the recording, so. Yeah, I, I, I plugged in, I, I, I used, well, anyway, I'm plugging it in differently now. I hope I think I figured that out. All right. Well, thank you, uh, all of you out there uh, in internet land, and thank you all of you in class today. Are there any more questions? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. I'll
you don't the assignment's not up. Okay. Why don't I, I, I have four minutes. It's only going to take me two. Why don't I throw it up? Well, let's see. Let me go to, uh, right, right. Okay. Let me, uh, log out of this and log into mine. Um, well, I don't need to do this, but I will anyway. Uh, so it is this one, uh, assignments, and it looks like this one, and this is 12-1. There is no 11, so 12-1, so I'm gonna duplicate this one and uh, make it uh, assignment 18 and exercise 12-1. Um, inventory items, maintenance. Uh, do I uh, do 12-1, 12, 12-1. 12 All right, there. Oh, and it is due, uh, open today, open now, and um, do, uh, I don't know, how, how much time am I giving you to make it due? Two weeks or something? All right. I just put it here, whatever. And that, uh, okay. And uh, attachments only. Yes, okay. Oh, and I wanted to add assignment to gradebook. Assignments. Post. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, so um, that's up and uh, it's 4.30. I will see you next Tuesday, right? Okay. Thursday. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.